Scholastica has a few built-in tools that make it easy to gather feedback and standardize that feedback to improve your efficiency. Every article submitted to your journal has a notepad that can be used to leave feedback. To use the notepad, go to the manuscript work area for the article you'd like to leave a note for and scroll down. The notepad has a 350 character limit, so it is best for brief notes that you'd like to be visible to yourself and your fellow editors. No email notifications are sent when adding text to the notepad, and any notes left there are only visible to invited editors. It can be difficult to compare across articles that you've read when your notes include an in-depth analysis on one and a thumbs up on another. Using a standardized form to leave feedback ensures that you're gathering all of the important information you'll need in order to make a decision, and that you can compare articles quickly and effectively. Your journal has a built-in review form that you can use to collect and share feedback. To customize your review form to include the questions that are important to you, your journal's admin editor will log in and navigate to My Journals, Settings, Review Form. The first three fields on the form labeled as overview questions cannot be edited or removed, but if you'd like to add additional questions beyond those three, you can do so by either clicking the pencil icon to edit an existing question or click add question to add a brand new one. The two types of questions that you're able to add are Likert scale and open response questions. If you only want your feedback to be visible to your editorial board, make sure that any questions you add are toggled to not be visible to authors. Now that your form is set up, you and your fellow editors can use it to share your thoughts on the articles you're reading. To write up your notes, you'll first go to the article that you'd like to give feedback for. Then you'll simply click Write Review. When an editor clicks Write Review, they will be assigned as a reviewer for that article. That just means that they have agreed to leave notes about it and will submit a completed review within the default time frame of two weeks. The default time frame can be changed in your journal configuration options. Now that you've clicked Write Review, you'll fill out every field that appears on the review form before clicking Create Review to submit your feedback. To read the feedback that was left for an article, first go to the Manuscript table. Here you can get a quick look at the editor's overall impressions by scanning the star ratings in the rating column. To read the full review, you'll then just click the hyperlinked text below the stars. That will take you to the Reviewer tab for that manuscript. Now you can simply scroll down and click Read Review to access the entire review. If you have any questions about leaving article feedback for your team on Scholastica, please reach out to me at support at scholasticahq.com for help.